So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, sorry about the live uh, today. I was supposed to go live. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, I didn't. Um, I'm going to go live tomorrow, hopefully at 7. Just felt a bit under the weather a little bit. But, you know, I'll break the fight down in these two videos that I'm going to put up now. Uh, but Lomachenko gets the job done. Uh, dismantles Nakatani. Outclasses him. Uh, Nakatani showed a lot of heart. Showed a lot of determination. you got to give him credit you know, for the heart he showed, for the determination that he showed, you know, he stuck in there, uh, took a lot of shots, um, and you've got to give him, you've got to give him massive amount of credit, you've got to give him massive amount of credit for, uh, you know, sticking in there, because, you know, he was buzzed, I think in the fifth round he got dropped, just totally outclassed, totally outclassed by the master, who, which is Lomachenko, Lomachenko is an incredible fighter, and you know, a lot of people wrote him off after the Lopez fight. Oh, he's this, he's a hype job, he's this and that and the other. And the man is a the man's a legend, man. He's a legend. He's so good. He's so, so good. Lom Lomachenko is a special, special fighter. Special, special fighter. And like I said, I don't think I've seen someone as gifted as Lomachenko. The guy is just a special, special talent. Um, he's fast of hands, he's got great movement. He just totally outclassed Nakatani, and shout out to Stephen, uh, who said he had picked Nakatani to he was picking Nakatani to win, and shout out to some of the other guys that. Uh, the thing is with Nakatani, he was a good fighter. He's a good fighter, but he was really just tough. He was just very very tough. He didn't really have the boxing skills to compete with Lomachenko. Lomachenko was just levels above him, uh, and I think that's what played out in the fight. You know, I just think his 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 speed, his movement. He hurt Nakatani quite a few times, but Nakatani, like I said, was showing a lot of heart. He stuck in there and, you know, you thought, you thought, wow, this guy's taking so much punishment, so much punishment. Um, but Lomachenko was just, he was on his game tonight. He was on his game and I think he wanted to prove a point. I think he wanted to prove a point because a lot of people were saying he's a hype job, he's done, he's this, that and the other. But I think he wanted to prove a point. I think he wanted to prove how good uh, he is and he... Definitely, for me, proved that point uh, tonight. He definitely put in a, in my opinion, a, a punch perfect performance, a dominating performance, so to speak. It was dominant. It was domination by um, by Lomachenko. Lom Lomachenko moves on to bigger and better things now. He moves on to hopefully a Tiafimo Lopez rematch. Listen, I've got my opinions about that situation. I've got my opinions about. Uh, Lomachenko and Lopez. I don't think Lo Lopez is gonna want that fight again. After watching tonight, I'm definitely hundred percent sure he's not gonna want that fight again, uh, because he just dismantled Nakatani with ease, uh, and that was a. And I remember Lopez fighting Nakatani. That was a hard fight. And here's the thing: styles make fights at the top level, and maybe Lopez's style might be wrong for Lomachenko, but that fight was close enough to warrant a rematch. I personally think Lomachenko would beat Lopez in the rematch. Uh, I think Lomachenko would get back to his very, very best. And I'm not sure Lopez would be able to deal uh, with Lomachenko in the rematch. But it's a great, it's a definitely, a, it's definitely a fight that you know all fight fans would love to see, and I would love to see. Unfortunately, I, I just don't know whether Lopez would fight him again because Lopez might want to move up and fight a Josh Taylor. He may look at that and it's an easier fight, and it may well be an easier fight. Uh, I still I still would favour Lomachenko in the rematch. Quite. I'd have him quite a firm favourite, actually, against Lopez, especially after tonight's performance. That was an incredible performance. I wasn't expecting him to be that dominant after being, you know, after, after losing, having your confidence shattered, and then, you know, Coming off the shoulder surgery, being inactive for a while, not fought since what last October, um, and just go go in there and absolutely dominate and basically you wouldn't know that he lost his last fight. You wouldn't know that you know he had. It was just a brilliant performance, a brilliant, brilliant performance, a domin domin dominating performance. He dominated every second of every round. He he completely dominated the fight. He won every round. Knock Nakatani down a few times, and yeah, it was a, it was incredible performance. And I honestly think that the rematch for me would be a Lomachenko win. 
Uh, and guys, if you disagree, leave your leave your thoughts in the comment section below. But there's some big fights to be made with Lomachenko. Lomachenko, for me, is still a dangerous, dangerous guy at 135. I like to see him, if the Lopez fight don't happen, I like to see him fight Devin Haney. That would be a monster fight as well. And I, I just don't see how Devin Haney can beat Lomachenko. Uh, on that performance, I just don't see how. Uh, after seeing, you know... Low, you know, Devin Haney fight Lenares in the fight going dis the distance, um, and the fact that you know I felt like Lenares gave him a few problems. Although Haney did well, I just think L Lomachenko would come again would outclass Devin Haney. I do. Uh, I I just think Lomachenko. I honestly, man, I I don't think people give Lomachenko the credit because I think he's got two losses on his record. People think, oh my God, he's lost. But the thing is, the guys fought at a very high level. He's fought at a very high level from very early on in his career, you know. So he's been doing things. He's been daring to, daring to be great, ever from from the start from his first pro fight. This is what he, you know. He fought for a world title in his second pro fight and lost by, as Bradley said, by a whisker, by a whisker. And that was his second pro fight. Who does that? And the quickest three weight world champion in boxing history. You know, it, it nobody does the things that Lomachenko's done, and that's why he's taking losses because Lomachenko's an old school fighter. He he he's taken the risks that some of the old school fighters took back in the day, where they didn't really care about having undefeated records or having losses. You see, nowadays there's too many guys that are picking and choosing their fights. The guys that are the money guys, they're not fighting the best because they're afraid of losing their O. And the O has become so significant because Mayweather, Mayweather's era of being undefeated has become so significant where I feel like the media people, the analysts and stuff, they, 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 they analyse the O too much rather than looking at who they fought. In, oh, and, and, and an undefeated record doesn't mean anything. Sometimes you get undefeated re guys and they're, they're not very good because they fought literally no one. And when they finally step up, they lose. I feel like there's too many fighters that are undefeated that are being well managed right now and being avoided, that they're avoiding the top competition. And that's not great for boxing fans because boxing fans want to see these guys in there with the best. And I think Javante Davis, for example, is a perfect example of that, uh, where, you know, they're, they're kind of picking and choosing his fights, going up and down weight classes, which is all good. But are they fighting the best in any of those weight classes? Probably not. Lomachenko is more old school where he wants to fight everybody and, and he wants to fight the best. Look, he jumped there in there with Lopez. Now, he was the firm favorite to win that fight. So it's not like him jumping in there and daring because he was favorite to win that fight. But the fact is, what I mean by daring to be great, he's fighting someone like Lopez, who's big, strong, young, a lot bigger than Lomachenko. Yeah, he still had a very, again, he lost that fight by a squeaker. You know, it's not like he got totally outclassed in that fight. Most people fight that fight 7-5 in Lopez's favor. So what I'm saying is that fight was very close. That could have easily, that could have easily, you know, around here and there, Lomachenko could have won. So... Lomachenko for me, it's not like he's getting knocked out. He's and Lomachenko's got a fairly good chin as well. He takes a good shot. Um, so yeah, I I, I, I want to see that rematch again. Or well, I want to see him fight Haney. I want to see him fight Javante Davis. Um, I want to see him fight. I want to see him fight some of the top guys because Lomachenko can fight anybody. Lomachenko is that good. His skill sets that good that he could give anyone problems. And I still think, I honestly still think he's the best 135 pounder rather. Even though I know Lopez beat him, I still think he could beat Lopez in the rematch. But, it, but for, for, you know, give Lopez the credit, he beat him. So he put him number one. But I think after that, he's definitely number two. I don't, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any question that there's another lightweight out there that you would pick to beat him right now. I wouldn't pick any other lightweight to beat um, Lomachenko right now. On that performance... The way he just dismantled Nakatani, like I said, and a lot of people thought that Nakatani would give um, Loma some problems. He didn't give him any problems. He totally di outclassed him, totally dismantled him and, and made him look average, made him look like just a tough guy, really. All Nakatani looked in there was just a tough guy that was taking shots. He didn't really cause Lomachenko any problems, any threat. He outclassed Nakatani.
totally. He battered him, really. Battered him and just made the fight look so easy. And this is what I'm trying to say. Lomachenko is an elite, elite fighter. Uh, I've said it many times and I'll say it again. Lomachenko, for me, is the best 135-pounder out there. Uh, even though, like I said, Lopez beat him fair and square. I still don't think he's a better... I don't, I don't think he would beat him in the rematch. And I don't think any other lightweight would beat Lomachenko. I think he beats Devin Haney. I think he beats Ryan Goss. I think he beats them all. Um, and I'd, uh, I would love to see him fight Lopez again. I just don't see that fight happening, unfortunately. Uh, because I think Lopez and his team probably know that the second fight may be even may be tougher than the first one. And also, if you've beaten a guy that you know is going to be a tough fight, you know, second time round, why would you want to entertain that fight again? You know, I just don't. I just don't see it. I just don't see. Uh, I think Lopez has got so many options now, and there's so many fight up and down. And Lopez, we know struggles to make one three five. It's not easy for him. You know, he's a big one thirty five pounder, so he easily can move up weight to go to one forty, and he could fight someone like Josh Taylor, which he may view as an easier fight than Loma. So, if I'm honest with you, I actually think, I I, I actually think that. We're not going to get to see, which is unfortunate. We're not going to get to see that rematch. Um, even though I think there will be a big demand for it. And there'd be a lot of people that want to see it. Because they want to see, they would want to see if Lopez could beat him again. Or would Lomachenko's uh, skills this time come out on top? Let's hope it does get made and let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope these the fight does happen and Lomachenko does fight. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez again because that would be an incredible fight and one that I would love to watch and tune into uh, because I think it would be an epic fight I think it would be a great fight but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, let me know what you think of thought of the fight what you made of Lomachenko's performance what you made of Lankan Nakatani's performance and do you think Lomachenko is the best lightweight in the world leave your thoughts guys and guys remember to please like, sh like share and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video peace